is Michelle Getzinger. I'm here in Regent Square at Styles by Cardamone, and I'm gonna get my hair done, and we're gonna get to know Annette Cardamone and um, hang out in this cool place down here. I started in my basement when I was like, my parents' basement when I was 16. I was still in school and I would cut hair, you know, and people would allow me to do their hair and trust me. That's and a then, lot of trust for, I, yeah. don't, I don't think I trust too many 16 year olds to cut hair. I agree, hair. but you know, they were also 16 and maybe their families or their parents or whatever. I said, sure, go ahead. And, um, <laughs> right. I also then after that opened a place up because one of my clients owned a building that I used to do in my basement and she allowed me to come into her building and open a business because she trusted me to be able to pay the rent. Which shows a lot about your character. Number one, that somebody would trust you that young, right. you know, and, and number two, you started that young. So you have people that have followed you from your basement when you very first started. So what what do you do that keeps you know people coming back? I feel like I treat people with respect and I treat them like family and I try to, you know, listen to their needs and do exactly what they need me to do and I feel like they trust me. Mm -hmm. So I just I get a lot of people that are still coming to me from that time I was 16 and that was a long time ago. Well this is a, like a really personal process for especially for a girl I mean I'm sure it is for guys too but for a girl like you're here for 40 minutes you know changing your look and you know you're like a therapist don't you think? Yes I should have had a degree but I don't so yeah that's true I mean people it's like having a new doctor or a new you know if you get a personal relationship with each of your clients and I feel like they treat me like family as well as I treat them. Hey, you, you said you, people coming in the whole way from Indiana. Indiana, I have a professor. I have some people who come from Manesson. I mean, that's far. It's a far drive, far. yeah. That's once a month, and yeah. she comes faithfully. And one of your other passions other than cutting hair is um, cooking, Cooking, right? yes. Mm -hmm. I like make homemade Italian foods, just hence my food. figure. But you, but, how much did you say you canned a year? We do like 280 jars of sauce. That is time consuming. It is, but you have a whole bunch of people. Everybody's cutting tomatoes. They're cranking squishing it out. them all down. Oh yeah, it's yeah. just the process. And then we eat. Mm -hmm. So there's a, always a, there's- A reward at the end. A reward <laughs> at the end. We all sit around and get dirty and messy and then we eat. That's awesome. Right. Yeah, and that, that it contributes to this home feel that you get. I noticed it right as I walked in the door. What is your favorite food to make? My favorite food to make is probably the cavatellis and meatballs, because I make them homemade with regatta and flour, and I just crank them out with my hands, not any kind of machine. What's a, what's a um, cavatelli? It's sort of like a gnocchi, but it's not made with potatoes. It's made with regatta. OK, mm, that sounds good. Uh -huh. It's really good. Yeah. Wrapping up our day here at Styles by Cardamone in Regent Square. All of her information is down below. Please reach out, come check this place out. It is so cool. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.